Good day. My name is Ingrid or Charan Kamal. I am the chair of the Postnatal Support Network and I am in my kitchen um, to share a little technique that I have been using supporting women and specifically in their perineum care. Uh, it's an area of the body that obviously has um, uh, um, go gone underneath very extreme stress during labor and um, needs special care for the, uh, for the weeks after the labor. Um, I'm here in my kitchen, but uh, you can do these instructions also in the bathroom. It might be easier to get, to get access of warm water and um, um, a few things that you need to have in order to prepare yourself for the sit bath. Um, I have a big bowl here, um, but uh, usually in a house where there is a small, small child, they usually have small bath, bath tubs as well, which are very good to use uh, for the mother to sit in. Um, I have a little bit of baking soda, which I use to uh, clean um, the, the tub in and also um, to add to the water for antiseptic um, qualities. And I have a few herbs that I use for the broth or the, um, the, the herbal um, substance to induce the healing, um, but also reduce the um, um, uh, inflammation or um, uh, swelling that the perineum might have. Um, it's a wonderful um, technique or a wonderful tool to also use for hemorrhages and um, um, it is uh, helpful to, uh, to understand a little bit about the herbs that you're going to use. Um, I have here four herbs and it's nice to have a combination of a few uh, which have all different effects for the, um, uh, for the tissue um, and for the, um, the deeper uh, fascia for the, for the pelvis. Uh, here I have yarrow. Yarrow is, um, uh, Latin name is mil milfoy. I can't pronounce it in English, but it's thousand leaves in the translation. And um, it is um, a herb that is used together with comfrey, which is also a local use, uh, used herb uh, very freely. Um, and it grows everywhere in the forest to use um, to reduce the swelling. So yarrow is a very good one for reducing the swelling. I have chamomile, which is a known herb in uh, postpartum care. It's really calming and soothing uh, the tissue of the pelvis and the general kind of tonic for um, the, the um, uh, for the for the pelvis. Um, here I have lavender, obviously a, a, a nerve, nervine, so an, an, a herb that kind of also works on the nervous system, um, but also um, a strong antibacterian and anti. Um, um, I have to use some words for the English translation. Um, it's the fungal, antifungal. Yeah, that's it. So if there's any fungus of candida or fungus sensitivity in the, in, the, um, in the uterus or the bladder, it's really good to use uh, lavender for that. And here I have calendula, which is like the yodium uh, uh, of, the, uh, of nature. And um, it's a wonderful flower. It also has sun energy in it. So it really captures the warmth of the sun in the summer. And um, calendula is a very strong anti-inflammatory um, herb, so we use quite some of that. Um, I have prepared a pan with the herbs that are cooking and make being hot. And what I do in the amounts, I usually have like one hand per um, herb, and I put it in a bowl with at least two liters of water. And I have it simmer just before 100 degrees Celsius, so um, just before boiling. And those herbs are then being um, soaked overnight in cold water or in water that has been heated to 80 degrees around. And um, next day when I use it, I heat it up also again against uh, 80 degrees. 
and it's very important to um, keep the lid off or on for the um, the cooking because there are a lot of um, very um, um, you know the medicinal purposes of the herb and they all are also in the steam so you want to capture it and not um, have these um, these important qualities disappear okay so um, for the bowl first first preparation is just to clean it um, I'll do this with a bit of baking powder uh, baking soda um, it's a new box so I have to open it before I just use a bit of it in here and um, by adding some water to this bowl I'll make sure that with a little sponge or a, a rubber I'll just clean it so that all this is being cleaned out okay now then um, if you have prepared yourself with the herbs and the um, the broth or the infusion of the herbs it's good to um, to then go to the room where the mother is at and use a, a few extra towels so um, I will go to uh, upstairs and actually show you how I would I would use this sit bath for myself or for the mother I am supporting so here I am in a, a little dressed up bathroom um, with my bowl and you see that I have actually filled it up quite um, a big amount of water um, you have to look at the size of the, um, the bowl in comparison to the size of the, um, the woman um, and for me I need quite an, an, um, a few a fair amount of water to be able to soak uh, the perineum area in it um, I have some baking soda, so I'll just m add a, f a little bit of baking soda uh, in the bowl. And here I have the herbs that I've prepared. And um, uh, I will, you also need to have a, either a colander or a sieve. I've taken that from the kitchen. And I'm adding the, ex the warm infusion into the water. The bathroom is now being filled with beautiful smelling herbs. Specifically, the lavender is um, very aromatic. And um, with this infusion, I um, will make sure that um, either myself or the woman that I serve has um, a comfortable position next to it. So she will have to sit down and um, usually I make sure that her feet are covered with uh, warm socks and um, she has uh, something over her mm, kidneys so um, I'll just do it with a towel but you can cover her with a blanket over her shoulders she has to kneel down um, and it's quite uncomfortable in the cold um, floor of the bathroom so it's good to have something underneath her knee knees so that she can comfortable kneel and um, place her perineum right in the water and um, it is recommended to stay in that water for at least 15 minutes so uh, make the place a little bit more comfortable and even ceremonial uh, put on a candle or some light music for yourself to relax and um, yes there are a few kind of sit bath already kind of ready-made on the market that you can use for the toilet so you use um, the, 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 the the sit bath um, kind of uh, tube uh, um, bucket and you put it in uh, underneath the ring of the toilet and you actually sit on the toilet which is um, possible um, yeah if they've done soaking the perineum for about 15 to 20 minutes she the mother or you when you're experiencing it um, you make sure that you 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 pat the perineum dry and if possible expose it in the air uh, at least for half an hour um, 
So patting is important because um, if you rub it, it might um, um, irritate the skin of the perineum and um, the herbs will stay uh, on the skin and will be absorbed by the skin. So it has a double effect and um, letting it air dry. Um, and she can just without an underwear uh, have a skirt to, um, um, to walk around if she, if she wants to be active afterwards. Um, one extra herb that I would like to recommend in this, with a special note for that, is um, a herb that has strong um, healing effect um, on the wound and um, um, is also known as an antidepressant, which is St. John's Worth. And um, there is a, a it's, um, the Latin word is, the Latin name of this is Hypericum perforatum. And you can see it in Eastern West, uh, Western and Northern European countries everywhere in summer, yellow, little flower. It gives a bit of a red substance if it dries. Um, and the oil is very red. And the oil at least, but also the herbs, it's very good for um, um, directly on the labia tears. It actually has a, an, a tremendous um, healing effect on the scarves of the labia. Um, but wound with antidepression can be sensitive to John, St. John's wood because it might have a counter effect. And um, people with extreme sensitive skin um, might feel that they are sensitive to sunlight after using St. John's wood. So it's a very powerful and potent herb uh, which needs a bit of extra care. Um, but it doesn't um, counter um, call the uh, extreme healing qualities of the St. John's wood. So um, with that being said, I'm going to take um, and enjoy my little sit bath for a while and um, I hope that you um, will be inspired to do it yourself, experience it yourself and possibly even inspire postpartum woman or any woman to, uh, to use it in her own kind of uh, cycle. Thank you.